Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I wanted to make you guys a weapon guide for the Assault class because a lot of you guys have been requesting that I make a video that explains what are my favorite weapons, why I use the weapons that I do, and what are the best for each class. And so I wanted to go ahead with that idea and make a weapon guide for you guys so you know which weapons are the best for long range combat, up close and personal, and kind of your all purpose weapons. So first off, we're going to be looking at the long range weapons, and in my opinion, the AK-74M and the L85A2 are by far the best long range weapons in the game. Their recoil is extremely manageable, they really don't have a lot of vertical or horizontal recoil, so if you are going for a you know 50 meter shot or 60 meter shot, it's extremely easy to stay on target, and going for long burst uh, is just very efficient, and those targets die very, very fast. Uh, the reason why these weapons excel so well at long range is mostly due to their really, really low rounds per minute. Uh, both weapons have a rounds per minute of 650, which is the second lowest compared to the G3A3. And because of its low RPM, it makes it much easier to stay on target. You're not having to fight to fight your recoil as often. And even weapons that have similar recoil, if they have an, a higher RPM, it makes it harder to uh, stay on target for those longer shots with the higher RPM. So that is probably probably one of the main reasons why these weapons excel so well at long distance. Uh, that being said though, it does put them at a disadvantage at close encounter engagements because of their low rate of fire. It's going to make it difficult for you to go face to face against someone who's using like the AEK or something who is, or someone who is using a much higher RPM weapon. But those are the two weapons that I would recommend that if you want to go for those long range shots, you want to kind of move around the map methodically and make sure you are covering down long corridors, these weapons are perfect. As for your close encounter weapons, I would recommend the AEK or the M16A3. The AEK has an extremely high RPM of 900 rounds per minute, and if you get into a close encounter engagement with even multiple enemies in front of you, you can rip through all of them in just a couple of seconds, and if they don't notice you, you are going to just destroy them. Even if they do notice you, you have a good chance of taking them out just because of its high RPM. Uh, the one downside of this weapon, though, is that it does have a lot of horizontal recoil, mostly to the left, but if you're able to manage that, it's it's, it's it's a breeze. Uh, there are a couple downsides of the AEK and one of them being it's extremely long reload time. If you go through your entire magazine, which is likely considering it has an extremely high RPM, it's going to take you 3.7 seconds to reload, which is a long time, almost four seconds. So if you are out of ammunition, definitely switch to your sidearm. It's going to be your savior. And if you're going to reload, make sure there's no enemies nearby. Also, of course, because of its high RPM and side horizontal recoil, going for long distance targets is difficult, but as long as you burst fire, it shouldn't be that hard. As for the M16A3, it also has a very high rounds per minute of 800. Its recoil is also very manageable. I'm going to talk more about this weapon in a second, but if you are looking for a close encounter uh, weapon, the M16A3 and the AEK are definitely your two top picks. Um, so up next, I wanted to talk about some all-purpose weapons, pretty much weapons that do well in every situation, and when I think about this topic, I instantly think about the M16A3. Like I said earlier, it has an extremely high RPM, so it's going to do very well in close encounter engagements, but its recoil is also very, very low, and as long as you know how to manage it, going for long range shots makes it almost as, as effective as the AK-74 or those long range weapons that I mentioned earlier. It's It really is probably one of the best weapons in the game. It excels in pretty much any situation. As long as you know how to manage the recoil, the M16A3, it, it's, it really is your all-purpose weapon. And I believe Level Cap even made a video as to why it is the best assault rifle in the game. I would also classify the M416 as an all-purpose weapon. Its stats are almost identical to the M16A3. It just has a slight lower rounds per minute and the reload time is a little bit longer. I'm not really sure why you would want to use this over the M16A3, but if you just don't like that weapon for some reason or you don't want to play the best weapon in the game, then uh, this one is definitely a solid choice. Lastly, I wanted to mention some weapons that I think are just a blast to use. They may not be the best in their respected category, but they're just so much fun. I think that they were that they're worth mentioning. And the first one is the G3A3. I loved using it after the patch. It's very fun to use. It has the highest damage out of the assault rifles. It does have the lowest rounds in its magazine, and if you have a bolt in the chamber, it has 21 bullets. So you have to watch out for your ammunition. You have to be very uh, cautious when you go for a target that you aren't blowing through your entire 
your entire magazine because you're gonna have to switch to your pistol. But if you are able to manage that, the G3A3 is very satisfying and it is easily one of my favorite weapons in the game. Uh, the next weapon that I would recommend is the AN-94, and it's the only burst fire weapon that I ever use for the assault rifle. Uh, the other ones I just think are mediocre, and because the AN-94 is a laser beam at pretty much any distance, if you shoot a bullet and that crosshair is over their head, they are going to go down, and it's just a lot of fun to use. So if you haven't tried a burst fire weapon and you want a challenge, the AN-94 is an absolute blast. It does take some getting used to, but if, as long as you get used to the burst fire, it is a very, very fun weapon. Uh, but that's it. It for today's assault weapon guide i hope you enjoyed if you would like me to continue on with all of the other classes so the engineer support and recon class the best way to let me know is to give this video a thumbs up uh, but if you guys would like to see more videos from me i recommend that you subscribe to my channel but until next time guys have a good one and take it easy